Hey everyone. So, uh, oh, don't mind me. I have just been, um, well, I guess kind of like we're starting to get a, I guess you could say working on my professions. So here's the thing. I've already reached level 72, but I didn't go out and do anything. Well, I take that back. Okay. So after the last video, at the end of it, after I turned the camera off, I went ahead and I flew around the Isle of Dorne, just uncovering the entire map. I also grabbed uh, glyphs, because the glyphs are back. And, uh, yeah. Oh, hey. And after I did that, what I th thought I would do is I would kind of, like, go ahead and get to work on working on my profession. So I came back here, and then I noticed this area over here, and I was like, oh, hey, wait a minute. And that's when I realized the uh, consortium to the surface after the sundering. The Naga can be so possessive of artifacts. The artisans consortium was here, and there was a quest here to basically just like get you a little start by giving you a little satchel of crafting uh, regents to get you started on leveling your stuff here. <laughs> The spam is still happening. So basically, what I have been doing, you'll notice, I have gotten all the recipes. My leather working is now up to 70, so I have been working on that. Uh, basically, I have been spending some gold to get some of the uh, regents I needed to start just crafting things, just to work on leveling this, while also building up my specialization points you can see i've already started to put them into this i figured that maybe i should work on learned leather worker first to be able to help out with my concentration as well as perhaps keeping some materials after i make some stuff and get some breakthroughs and then be able to start working on this afterwards and i'm guessing that this maybe later on this will be kind of important possibly but i don't know um, I don't really have to care about this, honestly. I can unlock it, but I'm not really going to be putting any knowledge into it. At least, it'll be the last thing I do, since I don't have to focus on that since it's male, and somebody else is going to be focusing on male in our guild. What I need to focus on is leather stuff here. So, that's what I was doing, and as I was crafting pieces, I was getting XP. I didn't even realize this was a thing. You guys gotta understand, this is the first time I've ever actually, like started this early when it comes to actually trying to work on making a like profession stuff i never started this early in an expansion because i just never had any interest but now that i'm actually like involved as one of the main crafters for my guild for this particular area i felt the need to so i started and i was getting xp crafting stuff and i actually dinged i hit level 72 i got this even this high up on xp just from crafting stuff I didn't know you could actually level crafting things. I'm sure it's expensive, but it was just kind of funny. I actually hit level 72 as I was leveling or as I was crafting. I'd never done that before. It was weird, you know? <laughs> but anyways. So before we continue with the story, by the way, you also notice I went ahead and changed up our, uh, what's this called? The Storm Rider? our storm rider here for a bit and i thought why don't we go ahead and start working on a few side quests here and there and there's a few here in town um i also need to get to renown five with the council which i got to three but i need to get a five because it's gonna allow me to go ahead and gra grab a pattern for myself for leather working so i do want to go ahead and get to work on that so i'm going to go around and pick up any side quests that we see here in the town such as this one right here the core way must be protected Hello, Outlander. Do you want to know about news from outside of the city? The Crossroads is a key place for Earthen to exchange information and goods, no matter their allegiances or edicts. My friend Bondas unofficially maintains the square. He would be delighted to see you in person. I'm sure he has already heard a hundred different stories of how you and the Outlanders made it to our isle. May the Titans carve your path. There's another one right over here. Did you hear the commotion? I think they might be shutting the whole thing down. How scandalous! 
Did you see anything? I was just at the forge grounds, picking up a jewelry commission, and all of a sudden everyone was shouting like the Corway was under attack. Again! But it was not that. Some peacekeepers were heading towards the depot, where crafting shipments were, are sent up from the deeps. I bet it's something to do with the machine speakers. The peacekeepers ushered everyone away before I could see what had happened. But maybe you can sneak a glimpse. This quest line is part of unlocking the earthen allied race. Ah! I bet the council ward will be displeased. How exciting! I do hope he makes a personal appearance. I need to see what cloak he's wearing this season. <laughs> By the way, I also was working on trying to get um, some better equipment. This is kind of some of the equipment I saw. Uh, not too expensive, honestly, for both leatherworking and skinning. So, swapping those out. I'll try and get some better ones later on. Um, so, this is kind of some of the main stuff I am having to use when it comes to crafting stuff right now. Obviously, I'm going to have to really work on out, you know, on my skinning outside of, you know, this place once I get out there and just really try to focus on that. Also, apparently there's a dungeon just right here. Oh, it's called the Rookery. Hmm. Well, I'm sure at some point we will get a quest to go into that. In the meantime, ah, the, the entrance is literally right here. Work cycle interrupted. There's word of troubles in the village of Ramblesshire at the base of Thunderhead Peak. Can't abide the place myself, always wet and rumbling. But Rook Tender Lufsala thought it worth a look. However, seeing as how the birds fancy the moss that the village produces, she's still green, though, and might just need a hand. May the Titans carve your path. I can feel the pulse of your world quickening. Soon, all will be drenched in its lifeblood. Operations here are suspended on suspicion of smuggling. Be advised, relaying your last task truthfully is in your best interest. I swear by the edicts that this is an honest operation. Excuse me. Move along, this is an ongoing... Oh, oh, Dreadnicks, my, my apologies. We may actually need your assistance. Council Ward Merrix has authorized trade goods from the deeps to be transported through this depot. However, we have received a tip from more than that more than when crafting materials are being sent and received here. Dornigal observes strict rules about what we trade and with whom. All commerce must serve the edicts, not the interests of individuals. We do not abide unsanctioned trading. We have started going through the crates here to find smuggled goods, but we haven't found anything. Yet. Help us take a look. Go through those crates. I want to see anything you find. It's just crafting supplies on the deep, sir. Nothing else. All right, let's go take a look. High quality coal. Okay. Sorted chisels. Okay. And a moleskin apron. Prevents scorching and splatter from molten metal. Okay. Seems all legit. Well, that's odd. These are very normal trading goods. There's nothing illicit here. That's all you found? Yes, it is. There has to be something that we're missing. The tip that we received was from a very reliable source. We have no reason to believe that we were being misled. The council ward will want us to get to the bottom of this, and I refuse to disappoint him. We haven't been able to get any additional information out of the workers, but maybe you'll have more luck. Speak to the ones that we have detained here and see if you can learn anything. Alright. I was told that this depot was closed for investigation. Is that so, Krigod? Council Ward! Uh, yes, we received word that the supply line was being used for smuggling. I see. And have you found proof of these activities? I, uh, not, not yet, sir, but a Dreadnix is helping us get to the bottom of it. Just give me a few minutes, okay? Excuse me. I don't know anything. I swear on the edicts. My directive is just moving crates. Harthen abides by his directives precisely. This is an honest operation. Whew. 
Who are you? We Oath Sworn owe no Outlanders any explanations. I have no idea what Kragod is talking about. Fine, fine, the crates have false bottoms for hiding goods, but we do not know what is in them. Aha! Uh -huh. I swear to the Titans, I did not know about this! Uh huh. Aha! Uh -huh. False bottoms in the crates? Very clever. That could be enough proof by itself to shut down this depot for good. But for the Council Ward's records, we will need a full report of any smuggled goods we find. So, they have built extra compartments in the crates to hide extra items, eh? Well, that explains how they have been smuggling goods into and out of Dornegal without any auditors knowing. Excellent work. But now the fun part of our job. Those crates will have to be broken open and the smuggled goods taken into evidence. Smash the bottoms out of those crates and bring anything you find back to me. Okay. Good work, Krakod. Vigilant as always. I must return to my office. But do not let me know... But do let me know what you find. Yes, Council Ward. Alright, let's see what's really in here. Smash! Nerubian silk ropes. Ah. Whoa! Infuse underclay? Holy oil from Hallowfall. This mud can burn for weeks on end. A bundle of receipts. Each one is signed by the same person. Steel vein. And a bag of glowing shards. These small shards break easily, producing an invigorating spark of electricity. Hmm. I found a few interesting things. Some of these goods are from Ajkahet. We're specifically forbidden from trading with the Nerubians in any capacity. We cannot risk any resources falling into the hands of our enemies. The Council Ward must be informed. These res those receipts you found. Steelvane is a known smuggler that we've been chasing for a long time. The Council Ward will be pleased to finally have solid evidence on his activities, and maybe even on his whereabouts. Bring these receipts to Merrick's immediately. He will want to study them in detail. He said he was heading back to his office, so you should be able to find him at the Council Ward's rise. I'll package up the rest of the evidence to be brought to him later. Good work today. This will give me more reputation with them and more crystals. 180 of them, ooh. Due to suspected ties with the smuggler steel vein, this depot is hereby closed indefinitely. You can't do this! M my directive! This conflict is but a shadow of an ancient war that predated the meddling of the Titans. Infinite armies clashed in ceaseless battle. But I'm sure your little war is impressive. In its own way. The Council Ward has stepped away. If your directive is to make a delivery, leave it on his desk. Okay. The office is indeed unoccupied. A pile of letters is scattered haphazardly over what you assume is Merrick's desk. It appears that he left in a hurry. The topmost letter is open and unfolded. There has been a situation. Expect delays. Steel vein. Aha! It seems like there is nothing else to do but leave the receipts on his desk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Actually, before we head over there... I have calibrated my prices to be reasonable. So I do have the Artisan's Acuity because of my crafting to actually get this. I just need Renown 5 in order to acquire this. And I'm going to need, uh, if I want to collect this appearance, I would need more crystals. But honestly, that just feels like a waste. 
like this this kind of stuff right here would seem to be more worth getting the crystals but you know right now i'm just kind of focused on getting to five just so i can get this at least for the time being this is stuff that other crafters i'm sure are gonna be focused on return Initiated. Well, there's a few other side quests in this area as well. An outlander! You're real! Just like the others that have stopped by. There are so many of you. I can't believe my eyes. I, I know everything about this isle, but could not have fathomed this. Faith. Order. We must remember both. Hello? We've got more reports of Fungarians returning to a place that we have dubbed Fungal's Folly. Supporters need to clear these mushrooms menaces out of the area to avoid them spreading any further. Complete this delve on any difficulty. Oh, so these are little postings to do certain delves, it looks like. Wanted, the Burrow Breaker. This note is, na is nailed into the post with a small chitinous plate. For crimes impeding the edicts of Dornigal, the council has deemed a reward be yielded to any who slays the chitinous beast known as Stickcar. A sample of Stickcar's armor is attached. If you are unable to damage it, you are urged to carry on your, your duties and leave this task for another. For another, slay Stickcar in the Isle of Dorn. Okay, we'll see how I can do it right now. And then, help wanted. Krig Krigval's rest, overrun by kobolds. <gasps> Candles. Complete the Creek Vault's rest. Delve on any difficulty. Okay. What is this? A drop package. You find a small yet heavy leather bound package on the road with an attached label. Gundraz Courier Express. Expedited to Harvester Farney. Durgaz Cabin. Open with care. Contains volatile elemental minerals. Mead! Fresh mead! Tell me. Oh my what gosh, look at these sheep. Interested in some moss wool? Oh my gosh, look at these sheep. Meh. Communication. Ooh, this is also part of unlocking them. Sorry. Greetings, Outlander. My name is Erdigo, and I am a caretaker. I am caretaker Corrigan's apprentice at the Morning Rise Memorial Site. The mischievous candlelit kobolds have overrun Morning Rise, and we seek assistance. Would you meet me at the fa Fall Side Outpost? It is just to the north of here. I'll be able to tell you more once we arrive. Let's commit our meeting to memory. I have to go. We don't have much time. I can explain everything once we meet at Fallside Outpost. Alright, I'll see you there. Tending cycle interrupted. Ground is shaking. Tis no good. Troubles are awakening the elements again. Stirs rot in them. Danger to us all. Bring them to heal and give its heart here. Only then the earth can begin to heal. Only then can Urtica do her duties. Huh. Okay. Tend your own garden. Do the Nauru speak of the eternal conflict? That the entire history of your world is but a fraction of the time that has passed? Of those that came before the Draenei? No. See, I like the weak Gora because even though she's talking about things that don't have anything to do with what's happening right now, I'd like to think that it's just her way of messing with us, that she is still around and she's able to still just kind of like, you know, be like, ha ha. I need to target something first. 
Oh, apparently this thing drops a mount. The Crackling Shard is something that apparently Rarity says it drops. Now, hold on a second. Rarity already has stuff about War Within. Okay, so... Ah, that's right. This this is the mount from that... Well, you gotta collect the Crackling Shards, and then you take them over there, and you can get this mount. I encounter this because that she's this thing is near one of the glyphs. Okay. Hallowfall. Belladar Spawn. One in a hundred chance. So this drops from something in Hallowfall, which I think is a dungeon? Spreading the light. Found in Hallowfall. One in a hundred chance. Dauntless Imperial Lynx. Lurker of the Deeps. The Ringing Deeps. That's the mount that drops from Queen Anserek. Whoops. And that's a Challenger's Cache from Dark Flame Cleft. Okay. All right, let's see if I can take on this guy over here. Stickar! Zoom! Wait, is he in a delve? Oh, wait, no, there he is. Hello? I'm sorry, I thought you were supposed to be a challenge. Alright, so this is a delve. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, head back. Turn this in. Grow closer, Outlander. Broken heart takes long time to mend. Edrica hears you, Roth. Earth will mend. May Freya guide you. What is your command? The council can bicker all they want. The true heroes are those that go out and make the world a safer place. Thank you, hero. We will continue speaking later. It is my duty as a caretaker. I have to do it before I shut down. No, let me take care of the kobolds. It's the least I can do for you. Speak freely. No, don't You're here. Delayed. Thank you for coming. Our forged paths intertwine. Do I know you? No? Good. My memory isn't what it used to be. I'm Corgran, caretakers of Morning Rise. A place for Unbound who are ready for their final shutdown. Those who come here for their final moments to do so, to break their cycle and be remembered as the unbound they chose to be. Unless your kind experience a stasis lock, as we do, I'm not sure what help I can give you. Let's commit our I can feel my energy to reserves memory. depleting. I will soon not be able to execute my duties. That is why I have un un Urtagao here to take over. Before my systems grind to a halt, I must make sure that Morning Rise is free of cobalts. They have invaded the memorial site I tend, and plunder the unbound shrines and bodies that are there. Maybe it is good you are here. You may have the strength to help us. Please, help her to go rid the site of kobolds. Journey far, and safe. Do you have the explosives? 
Don't worry, Corgran. I have more than enough. I just don't want you to return cracked and chipped. I'll be careful. I wouldn't want to leave you alone with no one to take care of you. You guys like how I change the look of my uh, Storm Rider here? I think it looks cool. It's like an alternate version of Zapdos. I know it doesn't look quite the same, but it's the, kind of like the aesthetic and the color that kind of made, reminded me of that, especially when you're flying around and you see the Electricion's wings. What path? Pokemon lovers, don't don't be mad at me for that comparison, please. Look at what these cobalts have done! I'm happy that Corgrand hasn't seen this. He needs to rest and conserve his energy. That may stave off his shutdown a little longer. At least until we're finished here. May your choice. Corgrand still your calls himself the caretaker, here. but I'm the one who has been taking care of Morning Rise for some time. I don't mind. Corgrand is very kind. But the situation here has gotten away from me. We have some work ahead of us. Returning to task. Take these gifts Goodbye. and place them by the past caretakers. Each is a gift honoring their memory. I'd also like us to perform some light groundskeeping to at least maintain the site. Unfortunately, what these kobolds are doing to the memorials will take us weeks to fix. Please do what you can about the kobolds. It would be unwise to leave the gifts unguarded while they are still roaming the area. Follow no directives. We have to deal with these kobolds and place gifts before we can move forward. This hour is now too bad. To target. I see tunnel. Don't make me take your candle. Ah, you're not a candle. Ah, this place hours now. Silly kobolds. I'm out of range. I see tunnel. I need Apparently, to they closer. each drop crackling shards. Cobalt pickaxe. Far away. I need to target something first. Cobalt pickaxe. It despawns when someone picks it up. If you cannot find it, come back later or wait until it respawns. Ah! It's a two handed axe. Original idea! By Scram Fanatic, Frantic, do not seal! Oh, there it is. Wait, what? No! It was right there! I saw it! You guys saw it, right? It was there! You take, you die! Candlelit Loot Snatcher. You, you can take loot, but you don't have the candle. I need to get closer. <laughs> Call an ouch patcher. I'm sorry, I love the kobolds. Hey, ding! 73. Oh, this is the other delve here. Our forged paths intertwine. I am amazed how much damage the Cobalts have done to the site. So many shut down earth and desecrated. I know that I am yet the head caretaker 
but I take full responsibility for this. I should have asked for the mantle of Caretaker long ago when Corgan started to show the first signs of memory overwrite and stasis lock. Journey far and safe. It looks like the Cobalts have taken gems and other body parts off these shut down earthen. Abominable! Find where the Cobalts are holding their plunder and bring it back to me so I can return it to its rightful place later. This vandalism will not go unchecked. Our lives are our own. Desecrating a memorial site is one of our greatest taboos in earthen society. This site is a window to our past, into our memories, and a place of self-reflection where we can commune with those who are no longer here. Still, so many of these Cobalts infest Morning Rise. For their crimes, the Cobalts deserve the harshest punishment. They must be culled even further. May all paths be open to you. So kill even more Cobalts. Got it. Just kind of dragging them all together so that both me and this druid can get credit. That's all. It's too far away. Here we go. Oh, hold on. We still, you don't take. I like their logic there. It's like, look, we stole this. You don't get to take it back. We stole it, therefore it's ours. Again, don't you just love cobalt logic? A new experience. Thank you for doing this. I'm relieved that there is much more that there is much more work to do. Follow no directives but your own. I was not made as an earthen of the sword, nor as one who calls for violence. That is the domain of the Storm Riders. What these Cobalts did is frowned upon, not just by us, the unbound but by everyone in Earthen society. I am not proud that we had to kill them, but we had to stop them by any means. Journey far. Now that we landed a mighty blow, it is time to make sure that we block their tunnels so they cannot come back. Remember the stuff that Corgran asked about? Explosive sticks, his recipe? I've brought enough to shake a mountain, more than enough for the Cobalts. Help me show these Cobalts that we will fight for what is ours so they will never come back. May your choices return you here. Knowing Cobalts, they will have several workmasters or leaders running this raid. Find and eliminate these so-called workmasters. The rest of them will get disorganized, forget why they are here, and hopefully leave us alone. Returning to task. Goodbye. Ah. Candlelit Blind Hound. We steal! You don't take! Again, I just love their logic. You know steal you know take what we steal. Fire in the hole! Hairless the menace. Oh dear lord. I'm out of range. My candles! Mine! Candles! Oh, Yours. Oh, 
my goodness. It's been a while since I've seen a Frost Mage running around with an elemental. It's worked, Master Nast! I burn your wick! Oh, I can skin these guys. Fantastic. More crafting resources. Look, now that I realize that, that I can get a whole bunch of like extra stuff that I need for crafting from these guys, I'm like, yes, skin, 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 skin. Well, at least now I know that if I need more like storm charge leather, I'll just come here and kill a whole bunch of blind hounds and then skin them so I can get their, their leather. far away so now I have to wait for workmaster earwax and wiktor to respawn well while I'm waiting I caretaker Dorgad wished to join my fuse, caretaker Natar, in my final shutdown. I could not bear the thought of a life renewed and reassigned if I reawakened reawake again someday from within the machine. May the empty chasm you left in my chest be filled now that we are together in oblivion. May this act be known to be my choice to pursue true freedom and release from the cycle that was forced on us by our titan overlords. Mourn my passing, but rise to freedom. Cut here! Cut see! Candle fight! I am all out of candles! I, caretaker Natar Unbound, wish to follow Kreevgal's path, or Kreegval's path, to unshackle the bonds given to me by the Titans. Here will be my rest, my, my place of final shutdown. This is my choice, my last stand. May you remember me as I was, and for what we can become. Mourn my passing, but rise to freedom. Sorry, Victor, but I need your leather. Oh, hold on. Hello. Oh, he's level 80. Oh, crap. This is bad. I may be in trouble here. Oh, that hurt. I'm going to drop a darkness here just to uh, help myself out here for a moment. Oh, gosh, I'm in trouble. Ow, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> well, we just ran into a level 80 rare. Okay, that teaches me a lesson. Don't just immediately attack them, because they may be level 80 and may uh, kill you. So, yeah. <laughs> Oopsie! I'm going to wait to take that guy on until I am level 80, or in case another level 80 player shows up. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. There is a level 80 player right over here. Maybe he wants to help? Let me see if I can ask him for help.
Well, there are a couple of other little 80s over here. I'm just waiting for one of them to be like, oh, there's a rare right here! There he is. There we go. I need a target. It's always nice to encounter players that are willing to help out. Welcome, Outlander. <gasps> the pickaxe. Let's hey, I got it. I can't use that. Now I've got that as part of my transmog collection. <laughs> Our forged paths intertwine. What did I tell you? I felt the tremors from back here. May all paths be open to you. Eliminating the minds behind this operation will only buy us more time if and when the Cobalt decide to do this again. Unfortunately, there is still one more Cobalt brain that we have missed until now. Our lives are our own. While you were dealing with the tunnels and the workmasters, I saw a peculiar kobold go into a cave to the northwest. The kobold seemed to respect him more than the others, calling him Grand Heister Bach and offering him the food you call cheese. This makes me think that he is the real mastermind. If that kobold is in fact the real ward of this operation, then we should take the opportunity to strike him down. I'll meet you at this cave. Grand Heisterbach does nothing but sing. Take the best candles and eat lots of cheese. Follow no directives but your... I will scout ahead and meet you by the cave. This is the cave I told you about. He's just inside. Yeah, there's a gummy loot. It belongs to me. I like how his ability is just called Bonk. Greedy are the keep loot for themselves. He's got a chair with a pile with a big like slice of sneaky cheese on it. Was I supposed to talk to her before I killed him? What path brought you it's done. here? So much death. I'm glad this is over. Meet me back at the Fallside Outpost. I hope the Corgrin is alright. Morning Rise is a sad place and not where I would like to have my final shutdown. But Morning Rise is the traditional place for final shutdowns. Did we become unbound from the Titans just to be bound by traditions? I mean, he's got a good point. Tell me what drives you. I have often walked the path between the outpost and the Morning Rise memorial site. I can recognize the ruts made by my heavy steps, same as those who came before me. But as an Unbound, I wanted to be free of traditions that lock me into performing the same duties day to day. I chose to be a caretaker, but I wish I had wandered the aisle more. I didn't really know how much time I had left. I would much rather shut down by the ocean southeast of here. There is a lovely spot there that I have wandered to often. Or, alas... Maybe Erdigo is right. I am just a crumbling earthen who is losing their pebbles. Returning to task. Goodbye. I'm happy to see you. I feel my inner workings grinding. That's a sign of anxiety. Corgan nears his shutdown with every passing moment. And then this place will be under my care, my care. It's a lot of responsibility, but I believe that I'm ready for it. Returning to task. Goodbye. Before I shut down, 
I must craft an item that is meaningful to me. As a stonebound, I worked the mines. I had a lantern that I made and used until I lost it in a collapse. I became unbound shortly after. I wish to forge a new lantern to guide my way through these final moments. The lantern was made of an ore found in small amounts around this area. I used a charged cord in the lantern. You can find them in the storm fangs that roam these hills. Gather the materials, and I will forge the lantern. Our lives are our own. There is one more thing that I must do before I sh my shutdown. An unbound master of a profession bestows their apprentice with their knowledge and experience. It is a ceremonial tradition that is rather symbolic than spiritual in nature. I will set the forge for your return. Speak freely. No, I told Corgan what you, about what you did back in Morning Rise. It made him happy to hear that the Cobalts had been dealt with for at least for for now. He seems very happy, which is kind of worrying for his condition. I hope he doesn't push himself too hard. We still need to prepare him for his shutdown. Our lives are all. Skin them. More leather. Which reminds me. Oh, hold on. Oh, here are the clumps of ore. You know, I've always wondered because I was once told when I was skinning a boss in LFR in Dragonflight, someone told me, don't skin that. I'm like, oh, actually, wait, no, it wasn't a boss. It was. It was the two bears you fight before the council in the Mirdrasil, and someone told me not to skin it, and I was just like, why? And then I started wondering, wait, if I skin it, does it disappear for everyone else? Like, if, if once it gets skinned, does that thing then kind of disappear, and then no one else can get it? Because if so, that's kind of awful. It's like, I'd be kind of like, inadvertently screwing over other people and that and when that happens and that's something I do not want to do. I do like this that even after somebody kills it for the quest I'm to get those things range. that I'm still then able to uh Hello. Oh hey. It's a Frost DK. Why am I not surprised to see one of those? I've been double checking, like, because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to play as an alt. And from what I keep hearing, Frost DK is supposed to be really good. And really fun. Which is interesting because normally I, I usually play closer. Unholy, but I am certainly, like, here's what I want to know. Is one of the reasons why. Frost is considered good is because it no longer has to utilize Cindergos' Fury. Because one of the main reasons why a lot of people did not like Frost at times was because of the build that involved Cindergos' Fury, which involved the whole you gotta make sure your runic power is max and then pop it and then use abilities that keep generating runic power so that you can keep it up as long as you can. You know, uptime. And lots of people don't like uptime, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them for feeling that way. A great storm fang. There's the charge core. Well, this is certainly a great way to get storm charged leather. 
rather than having to spend a whole bunch of gold on the auction house. What the? His request? Ertigo. These written words are my mem memoir, indicating that my will and wish to follow the path of Kriegwald like many unbound have done before. This is my request for a final shutdown. It is my choice, my decision, and the last chain I shatter to become truly free of the Titan's grasp. I know that when time comes, you will honor it and grant me that final moment of peace. I do have one wish that is outside of our traditional course for a final shutdown. I wish to be left by the shore in the place that I travel to when I need some time for myself. I am aware that it is not what we do, but I implore you to consider it when the time comes. Do not worry when it does. Morning rise would be in good hands. Your hands. May, my, my you forward your, okay. That's a typo, Blizzard. I wish someone had caught that. May you forge your path well. Corgrin is what it's supposed to say. Ah, a new experience. Oh, I can feel it. It's like a shadow hanging at the edges of my memory. It's growing, encroaching on me. It's like a dark fog that shadows, that shadows parts of of who I was and who I am. My body, it's hard to move, but there is work to be done. I do love making things. I was a stonebound, did I tell you that? We used to tend the buildings in a, the, uh, the city. I can take joy in making the lantern. Yes, the lantern. Oh, May all paths Corcoran. be open to you. These will do nicely. Now, hopefully I can remember how to forge a lantern. May your choices return you here. Before it's shut down, we Earthen would descend to the Awakening Machine below and renew our cycle. But now, even if it, it was still working, I would see my cycle broken and be remembered as I am. <sighs> These hands look strong, but they become heavier with each passing moment. The stiffness in my wrists and elbows will not let me carry the items to the forge. Please add the right material to the forge as I call them out. Oh, and we get a schematic for a toy. Engineering. Huh, okay. Follow no directives but your own. Let me know when you're ready. All right, let's do it. All right, so. Would you tell some of that ore, please? Sure. I'm aware of this minigame. This used to be easy. The charge core. You're a great helper. Toss in some coals. I hope I'm not messing up this player here. It's getting hard to concentrate. Charge core. So that or making. Oh, oh, right, the lantern. Holes.
Who are you? Dreadneeks, wasn't it? Oh, poor Corgrin. Speak freely. No directive it's, needed. It looks like I can't remember, but the lantern is absolutely magnificent. May your choices return you here. This lantern is perfect. Enough of this. It's time. I can feel my memory clouding. We have to get going. Ertigo is waiting for us. They will join us on my final journey to Morning Rise, where we will conduct a ceremony. It's nothing fancy, I promise. As I said, it's more symbolic than anything else. My head feels heavy. What was I doing again? Mm. Oh, right. Meeting Ertigo. May all paths be open to you. I feel... I need to meet... Yeah, outside. Oh, are you here to request my services as caretaker? Now where did... What... What? What's happening? Communication okay. in... Uh, are you alright? Sorry. Hello. Who are you? How do you know my name? It's me, Ertigo. Please, you're confused. No, I, I don't know you. Leave me alone. Corgan, stop! You'll deplete yourself into shutdown! Oh, no. Whoops. Tell me. We have to find Corgan. If he keeps on exerting himself, he'll shut down in the middle of nowhere. It's not safe for him to be out in his condition. He'd be easy prey for storm fangs and even kobolds. May all pass. This is horrible. To you. I knew I should have been keeping a closer eye on him. Confusion's the last symptom before a shutdown. Our memory is finite and starts overriding. The more that an earthen exerts themselves, the faster their energy depletes and they lose their memories. Corgan must be scared, not knowing where he is, maybe not knowing who, not even who he is. I'm such a boulder head. Please, I think I saw him go east into the trees. Maybe there on the, up the road. Let's commit our meeting to memory. I hope we can get to Corgan on time. Corgan, where are you? There must be something we can do. Maybe start by looking for tracks? The lantern. I know that lantern. Is it? Is it my lantern? What path brought you here? Y yes, I remember you. We, we worked together, didn't we? You're, um... Dreadnecks! Yes, yes, Dreadnecks. What was I thinking about? Why are we here? I remember now. I wanted to craft a lantern so I could guide me to where, when I am lost. You helped me make it, but I don't recognize you. Everything's cloudy. I, I can't think. There was another, er... I can't remember her name. Her name is Ertigo. She's waiting for you. Follow no directives, but you Waiting for own. me, you say? For me? I must be important. Ah, a new experience. I can feel the buildup of pressure at my core. You outsiders call it sadness. It's hard for me to see Corgan like this. Journey far and safe. Oh no, Corgan's condition is sliding downhill fast. Showing him the lantern was a good idea. Thank you for guiding him back to me. May your choices return you here. As unbound earth and can't return to the coreway, so we have morning rise. But looking at Corgan, remembering our last conversation before... I may not be the Morning Rise caretaker just yet, but with Corgrin's condition, it falls to me to be in charge. As Unbound, we made our own rules and traditions. So what if he doesn't want to stand at Morning Rise? If a seaside memorial is what caretaker Corgrin wants, that's what he gets. Meet me at the shore to the southeast of here. May all paths be open to you. Come, Corgrin, it's time to go. Who, who are you? Where are we going? 
It's me, Artigo. We're going to the shore. Oh, do I like the shore? Yes, it's your favorite spot to give yourself time to think. Time? Time. Oh, hey, races are back. If you like the dragon flying races and dragon flight, they're back. So easy to tear open. Do you know what would happen if true shadow and light met here? Pretty sure we'll find that out in the next expansion, Zalatath. Welcome, Outlander. This place, the sound of the waves, the sand under my feet, it's bringing together what shards of memories I have left. There are so many memories I've lost. My inception, my first wanderings of this land. Ertigo is right. There is no other place I would rather shut down than here in the waves. Journey far and safe. Kurgrin's journey is close to its end. I need to do a few things to repair, but I don't want to do any of them. I keep thinking if I don't, maybe he'll be here for longer. But I know it's time for him to go. Follow no directive. He enjoyed the walk, but it's taken a heavy toll on him. Corgan barely recognizes me now. May your choices return you here. As unbound caretakers, we have a tradition for when a master bequeaths their mantle for to their apprentice. Figuratively, of course. To do that, Corgan will need a horn. He would then face me, blow the horn, and the sound signifies his passing the mantle of the Morning Rise caretaker to me. I saw shale horns to the west of here. I would be thankful if you could go bring me several of their horns. I will choose one that's suitable. Returning to task. Goodbye. The Unbound have a symbolic ceremony of cleansing. We perform it before a shutdown. It's a symbolic process of purification. For it, we need to gather Ashenfold, a flower that grows along around the aisle. We wa waft, waft, waft? We wrap the smoke of the burned flowers through the fissures and cracks in our bodies to symbolically remove impurities. We are then ready to embrace our final moments. Journey far and safe. <sighs> Why am I not surprised that Blizzard had this be a mandatory quest for the Earthen earthen allied race unlock I imagine this is one of those quests that is going to get quite uh it's gonna get to quite a few people it's getting to me honestly this is getting I'm starting to get a little impacted it's by this quest line here away. this is getting really partly because of uh, real life as well basically what's going on here is it, it feels like it's very much as if I don't have a target. Like a form of dementia. And my grandmother, uh, on my father's side, she dealt with dementia a lot towards the end of her life. It got to the point where when my father was visiting her in the hospital or in her where she was staying, she at times wouldn't even recognize who he was. So, what Corbin is going through here, it, it's hitting a little close to home for me. So forgive me if this quest line gets me a little emotional. Because I can't help but think about my grandmother and what my dad went through towards the end of her life.
I'm out of range. I need to get closer. Communication in... Oh, oh sorry. <clears throat> Hello. These are beautiful. I feel sorry for the Shalehorns, but there are many of them around. Let's commit our meeting to memory. Thank you. I'll prepare them for the ritual. Our lives are our own. It's time for the ceremony. Please place the bowl of Ashenfolds by Corgrin and then hand him the horn. Once the ceremony concludes, I'll be the new caretaker and then I'll have to say a final farewell to my friend. Corgan will shut down peacefully, knowing that we were here by his side in the place he loved most. Something I wish and hope to have when it is my time. My core is mud, but it is a great honor to stand here with him. And with you. Journey far and safe. Our forged paths intertwine. I... I... Corgrin. I, Corgrin, bestow the title of Caretaker of Morning Rise on you. I, Ertigo, receive the title with honor. Welcome, Outlander. What an honor it is to be here, to be present at such an event. You were part of it, and I know that deep inside him, somewhere within Corgrin's core, there will always be a living memory of you. Thank you. May your choices return you here. I always liked this spot. I always wondered what was beyond these shores. Here the ocean will erode my body and take me over the dark sea. My lantern will light Do the... Do the Naru speak of the way. eternal conflict? That the entire history of your world is but a fresh Corgrin. Goodbye, friend. Of those that came before the Draenei? No? <laughs> and you can see... You can see he's... Lost whatever was left in him. He's just a stone statue now. Corgrin stands in the shallows. His once warm eyes now locked in a gaze of wonder at the horizon of, as his lantern sways with the gentle ocean breeze. A small ornate plaque hangs on the lantern. It reads, Here stands caretaker Corgrin in his final shutdown. May his forever rest not be dictated by tradition, but rather by choice. Caretaker Ertigo. What path brought you here? It is done. Now it is my time to take care and face the upcoming challenges of Morning Rise. I will miss Corgrin. I think this is going to be my new think-through spot when I need a zephyr of fresh air to clear my head. Or when I will need a listening ear. Follow no directives. I am now the caretaker of Morning Rise. At last, I feel the weight of this new responsibility on my shoulders. It's a great honor, but one I must prepare myself for. Please, help me complete one final task and then I will be ready. Meet me back at Fallside Outpost. May all paths be open to you. With Corgan shut down, I'm the caretaker of Morning Rise. The Unbound will look to me to protect their legacies. It's a duty I must uphold alone. But before you go, please help me just one more time. Meet me back at the outpost.
Well, I'm certainly going to remember this quest line. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I imagine quite a few people will also remember this quest line, because how can you forget about this? Speak freely. No directive needed. There is one last task that I must execute to formally become the new caretaker. I'd appreciate your help. Please take one of our new memorial placards and heat it in the forge. You can quench it in the oil basin outside to temper it. Afterward, my name must be inscribed on the placard. It's an ancient tradition, one that I intend to uphold. I'm ready to help. Our lives are our own. Before I told, I, I told you I had mostly assumed Corbin's directives, but now I see that that is not true. I did the work, but I never bore the burden. That was Corgrin. I thought his strength was part of his directive, but now I know it is something that I must learn. Corgan went into stasis young for our standards. I wonder if it was because the duty weighed upon him? I may need an assistant soon as well. It's an honor to be a caretaker, but also a dutiful burden. This memento is a reminder of what our work means, of what we truly preserve. Tell me, what drives you? You brought Corgan peace in his final moments, and now you have helped me fill his absence. Your aid will not be forgotten. Returning to task. Goodbye. Remember me, Earthen. Hmm. Bunch of stuff I'll have to be working on. As time goes on in this expansion. I have many lucky do's you like. May your feet find good trails. Hmm. I'm curious about this delivery. What's this, what's going on with this? As I said, I can't do much for Shalehoof without that underclay. That's the substrate for the salve. Well, I can't you do something about the earth elementals that did this to him? Or what about that sleeping mountain giant in my pond? Well, smoke the hive! You found it! I still can't believe that the courier just lost my package! We've been waiting on this to help with the Shalehoof's leg. Mixed with fire honey, this stuff should patch him up quickly. Rameliths, magnificent, aren't they? One of the finest elemental beasts on the isle. The bad news is that they're not immune to injury. Poor Shalehoof here was attacked by awakened elementals in Farney's pond. The good news is that we have all we need to tend to him. We just have to mix that clay that you found with some fire honey and slap it up on old Shalehoof's rook. Hawk, ready? You're going to get a random outsider to heal my ram? Absolutely I am. Drendix, let's start by crushing up the clay that you brought over on that anvil. You never answered my question about dealing with the mountain giant or his elemental friends. As I was starting to say, your elementals and mountain giants aren't exactly friends. Farney, Farney, besides, the giant's sleeping.
Well, sleeping for no you know, hold on. There we go. Well, sleeping for now, anyway. It could wake up. Though. Oh, bring that honey over to the clay. Sleeping or not, seems like that, that most recent tremors have shaken up my pond. This elemental's all over my waterfall. I'm not exactly keen to just wait for that giant rook rock and the rest of the waterfalls to just wake up. I suppose waking him up on our terms might be a better solution instead of letting the elementals annoy him out of his slumber. And how exactly do you propose that we do that? Well, aren't you just a natural with the elements? Ever thought about making a career out of it? This would be hilarious if I was on my shaman right now. Say, since you're not afraid of getting messy, why don't you help us with Farney's problem? Before we go and wake up a slumbering mountain giant, it's probably best that we get an idea of how deeply asleep he is. Though, if the Nerubians burrowing up didn't wake him up, I'm not sure what will. Take these earth shards and plant them on the waterfalls and hills around the lake. Once we've got them set up, I'll be able to get a reading on the giant's health. Meet us on the bank of the pond just down the hill, just across that bridge. What? Well, wait, we're not getting close to that thing, are we? And miss out on learning about mountain giants? Not a chance, Farty! Slumbering mountain giant. Uh-huh. Hello! Seismic Rumbler, huh? Oh, I help you, but you don't help me, huh? Thanks. Don't you just love it when you help a player and then they don't help you back? Like, dude, I went out of my way to help you out. I didn't have to, but I did. And you can't bother to stick around and help me out? Once you place the tremor stones, I'll be able to read the signals that they send through the earth. They should allow me to get a feel for what condition that fella is in before we go waking it up. And by we, I of course mean you. I place the tremor stones. Oh, oh no. Can you both feel it? The giant's pulse. The poor lad's wounded, I think. Wounded? Well, that calms my bees. Let's just hope it passes quickly and quietly, right? Passes quickly? We haven't even seen the giant mountain giant in eons, and you want to be the first one that we find to pass quickly? Want the first one that we find? Oh, the mountain giant has got a weak heartbeat. Poor lad's likely been disturbed from a deep slumber with all these elementals breaking off in the falls. Fortunately, the pair of us are experts in healing elemental and elemental adjacent life forms, aren't we? If the salve can work on earthen and rock rams, it can work on mountain giants. Remember, when we use that clay and the fire honey to patch up shale hoof, well, let's do that again, but bigger! Problem is, we've run out of clay. But... Fortunately, with all the recent seismic activity, a whole avalanche of elementals has been roused out of torpor and are clashing on the eastern beach. Bring me wet elementally charged slit to use as our restorative substrate. If Harmit wants to patch the sleeping boulder up and get him out of my pond, I'm all for it. Unfortunately, we used the last of my store of fire honey on Shalehoof's wound. I haven't had time to harvest any from the cinderwood wold with all these elementals running amok. Head on down to the wold's edge and bring us some honey. You're going to need a lot. Mind yourself in the cinder wold. The cinder bees don't take too kindly to disturbances. There may be, they may be temperamental, but like all elemental creatures on the island, they are vital in the role in the role that they play. Yes, I'm sure. Go. I like how my, my objective on the other one is 
lots and lots of fire honey. An enormous glob of fire honey. In fact, what direction is it? Oh, it's back this way. Alright, I'll go ahead and grab piles on the way in that direction. Huh. Combined, wait, combined frenzied earth. Earth and water to create living elemental mud. Okay. Hold on, where are the water ones? Here they are. The walls between realms are thin here. So easy to tear open. Do you know what would happen if true shadow and light met here? Ah. Huh. Made it. Never mind. What? A honey fused droplet. That's coalesced living honey. An enormous glob of fire honey. Oh, honey! Sorry, bad joke. All right. By combining living sand and water, we can create an elemental silt that mimics the underclay's healing properties, or at least something that comes close to it. Isn't elemental fusion fascinating? Can you feel the energy in the silt between your fingers? The charge that hums through it? Isn't it exhilarating? Does it make you feel one with the earth and the mountains? Dude, calm down. <laughs> I get I get it. You're excited and you're into what you do. Mind yourself in my force. Cinder bees are dangerous, but we rely on them for the honey that they produce for our mead. You found this off of what? A living honey I Let's keep all mention of living fire honey between us. Carmen might get distracted and run off into danger if we tell him. By the core way that this stuff packs a punch! Combining healing silt with the molten fusion properties of fire honey has given us a salve that could wake a whole mountain! Which is exactly what you'll do. Take the mixture over to our wounded friend in Farney's Pond and slap it on his hide. It should be enough to wake him up and alleviate any soreness. Hopefully any- hopefully anyways. We'll get a... Uh, okay. The tremor stones will maintain enough tension on the water to support you. Are you sure this is going to work, Harmon? What if it wakes up and it's still hurt? Well, in theory, it should work. This remedy works on Earth and Ramliths, so why not a mountain giant? Be curious, Farney! There we go. Alright, big boy. Hope, you f hope this helps you feel better. Watch out! It's moving! It worked! It's awake! By the shapers! He's magnificent! Hello? If you say break yourselves upon my body, we're gonna have some words, pal. Well, would you look at that! Thousands of years slumbering in the base of a waterfall, and he wakes up without even a roar or a foot stomp. Ha! And Farney was worried. You did great with making that salve. Both Farney and I owe you a big thanks. Our new friend looks thankful, too. Pr 
pain no more? Little stones help? Wait, hold your honeycomb. Mountain giants can talk? Of course they can talk, Farney. They're just like you and me, you and I. And yes, we helped. Fire and Earth made the pain go away. It was mostly Dreadneeks who helped, speaking of which. Do you have a name, big fella? Name? I forget. Sleeping long time. Oh, do we know the feeling? I'm, well, I'm Harmit, and this is Farney. Harney and Farmot? Far... Uh, oh, forget it. It's close enough. This is so exciting! I've got a quarry full of questions to ask. Let's head up the path and chat. Harmit! Don't you dare lead him to my farm! If he tramples Shalehoof or steps in my hut! Follow me, big fella! Farmit's got a nice spot up that hill! Mm. <laughs> that was very entertaining. That was great. I enjoyed that quite a bit. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut off here, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and do these couple of delves here off camera, because I'm guessing... Actually, you know what? Hold on. Before we cut off, let's test this. Let's at least do, um... Let's at least go ahead and do the delve right here that involves the kobolds. Because what I'm guessing this is that delves don't have that much story. The cataclysm, the sundering, the scouring. You really have no idea. So it looks like if you want to get started on a delve, you just simply walk in here and be like, oh, hey, this is the, you know, Creek Falls West. And if you want to get started on it, you just walk up and then, okay, so this reminds me of like when you would walk up to the entrance of say, you know. Oh, okay, so we have uh, one minimum challenge, smothering shadows. Seven to increase in player experience. Moderate challenge. Enemies have more health, deal more damage, grant more experience, and additional traps and challenges will appear. Interesting. This reminds me of when you would walk up to uh, Torghast, and you would walk up to the entrance and it would be like, hey, which level of this do you want to do? You know? So let's see what a tier two of this is like. This is a place to honor those who have chosen to shut down, and these kobolds are desecrating it! May as well go ahead and take a moment to repair while I'm at it. Alright. So you have come to aid us. The Cobalts have seized this location and stolen several valuable artifacts. Let me take a drink of water real quick. Actually, it's mineral water. Or, yeah, vitamin water, excuse me. They've even taken the helm of Krigval. He was the first among us to choose to shut down. This tomb was built in his honor. If you recover our artifacts, I will allow you access to the treasure cache below as payment. Why would the kobolds take, want to take all these items? Well, kobolds have always been a malfunction in our system, but they've never been so bold as to attack one of our catacombs. I suspect they're after the artifacts that are located here. Precious items of great significance to those who have chosen to shut down. Our treasure room, however, has little value to us. Illogical as that may seem, it is filled with that which we were given. Not that which we... Not that which we chose to value. If you recover artifacts, I will grant you what lies within. Can you tell me about the darkness in this place? Something dark followed the kobolds here. They used these candles to keep it at bay. You will be depleted of all your strength if you stray too far from the candle's light. I discovered this the difficult way. All right. Let's do this. You must get these artifacts back. And be sure to stay in the light. Oh, I've heard about the darkness here. Best grab one of the candles to fend it off. Grab one of those enchanted candles to stay safe from these shadows. The candle gets weaker when you move. Watch your steps. I gotcha. So, candlelight. Standing within a radiating light that prevents the darkness from coming in. 
Carrying an enchanted candle that yields a brilliant flame, wax is consumed only while moving. Okay. Alright, Bron, I'm fine. Notice how the candle is getting smaller. Once you move to the candle, the new one takes over. That's good to know. Oh, gosh. Whoa, what's with the fire? Bran, why is it I can't take you anywhere without these kind of traps and such getting set off and, and, and trying to kill me? Every time I take you somewhere, I have stuff trying to kill me. It's like, dude. I have a feeling that there are some abilities you can use that can actually kind of help cheese whether or not uh, it counts as... No. Yep. Oh, I smell that treasure! <laughs> of course, Bron will be like, Oh, I smell treasure! And then I have to be like, Bran, how do you know what treasure smells like? You know what? Forget I asked. Maybe I don't want to know. I just yoink that candle to me like, Alright! Bigger candle now. But we're basically just kind of like trying to gather as many of these as we can on our way down. It's like, okay. Also, I love seeing his little dwarven medicine right there. That's great. I am curious what this is going to be like as you progress and unlock higher levels. And, like, I wonder if this is going to be something that, like, say, Guildmates and I are going to actually want to do. And the fact that this is actually going to I count to towards, like, great vault first. slots is going to be very interesting. It's like, well, hey, it's more of a option or a row when it comes to, say, the great vault, so we may as well, right? I don't have a target. Nice fight! It's like I was wondering about what this thing was. It's like, hello! It's too far away. I need a target. Oh my gosh, we're even getting little extra powers and abilities like this if this 
is this their new like way to kind of like implement stuff that they wanted to do with Torgas but weren't really able to do or just kind of messed up on? Is that what I'm seeing here? Because there's a lot of treasures down here for us to find. Find the helm. It should be right up ahead. I need to target something first. All right. Yep. Here at the end. This place cobbles now. You not take. Oh, if I had a gold coin, every time a kobold got in my way, I could retire. Blades. Candlelight Sanctuary. Huh, the trinket. Resonance crystals. Nice. There you go. Huh. Okay. We'll add that once we get him to level six. Gold, free gold. Woo! Why can't all this gold be ours? Why can't it all be ours? Oh well. All right. And now we head back with the no. Hey, I cleared out that whole place of kobolds. So there is a bit of story in the Dells, but not really much, honestly. It's just kind of a fun little extra thing. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one off camera. Since there's pre probably not much reason to actually do it story-wise. Speak and be heard. Krigvall's rest is a sacred place to our peop our people. Thank you for helping us restore it. More crystals and more companion experience. Return if you wish to speak again. And Bran is more experienced now. I have many, many wares. Also, because I'm level 74, I now can put this on. This was a piece of gear that I actually ended up crafting. It's 545. It's an improvement over what I got. So this is my first War Within piece of gear that's going to be an upgrade to what I already have. So, yep. There we go. And this is another thing that I got as part of a enchant quest. Or quest, excuse me. It was a quest basically telling you, this is how you enchant an item. You know, so, anyways. Alright, so I, you can see there's also a bunch of other side quests. There's a side quest over here. But it looks like when we go that, it'll kind of lead us to doing that. There's another one over here, apparently. And there's a bunch of ones right over here in the Freywood Wold Village where we were at before. So, I'm going to kind of try and, uh, well, I'm going to cut it off. I won't be doing any more recording tonight because I have to kind of go to bed a little earlier than I'd like to because I have to start at noon and work a nine hour shift so I probably need to try and get some sleep so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this delve off camera and see what else I can do in terms of crafting and then call it a night so whether or not we continue with the more side questing here in the Isle of Dorne or do the main story um we'll have to you know 
I'll uh, I'll decide later. So I will see you guys later. Stay tuned.